This video is going to build on the previous video we had that displayed the gyro data to the driver station or displayed on a screen on the serial monitor for your Spartan controller. So both a Spartan and with FTC robot, we're going to go ahead and just take that program and add on it to the next thing. And the next thing we're going to do is make it so that we can take a gyro and turn it to move the servo. So as we turn the gyro, this will move in the same direction that this is. We're just going to feed in the gyro data, the, um, the absolute heading or the Z accumulated, uh, and then send that out to servo after we put and put through an equation. So when I initiate here, it's going to calibrate, and then when I hit play, it'll start displaying values, and then it'll let me move the gyroscope to display, or to, to move the servo. Just like that. And it's converting the degrees here to a servo position here. So I can move this back and forth this way. You can see how it stays exactly the same. Just like that. Now let's talk for a minute about the math because the math in both of the programming languages is going to be exactly the same. Pardon my mess. Still here. Okay. Got all the colors. So we're gonna have a red B for the servo position, and green is going to represent the gyro reading. Ask me the Z accumulated. So if we map out both of those, you'll see that we'll have an arc here. And when the gyro reads back, since we calibrate it when it's straight forwards, the gyroscope will read zero. On the left, it's going to be positive numbers, so this will be 45. This will be 90. This will be negative 45. And this will be negative 90. The servo has positions that aren't even centered on this. So the servo positions are going to be 0 over here. And the servos go up to 255 positions. Except in Android Studio, that goes from 0 to 1, but don't worry about that. We'll scale it in the program. Here, this can be 127 or 128. So that would make this be 64 or 63, depending on how you're counting. And this uh, is going to be 127 plus 64. And, and that's actually how we're going to get to that value, so I'm not actually going to uh, do the math on that one. Because you shouldn't have to do the math on that one. So since it's zero, remember we're taking the, the gyro readings and going to the surface position. So we're going to take in zero, we got to get to 127. So we are always going to add 127. So we're going to say 127 plus, and there we'll have our gyro reading. Let's say Z accumulated. And that guy is going to be multiplied by 128 because there's 128 positions here. So we're going to say times 128. And that one is actually 128, not 128 or 127 another bracket and uh, then we're going to need to divide by 90 because there are 90 positions here and this is what we're going to assign our zero position to Now, if we're doing this in Android Studio, we just say 
that it equals this whole thing divided by 255. And that'll be the last thing we do. If you're using Spartan, don't worry about that part. So we can test this out. Uh, we can say, well, if it's, um, let's say, 45 degrees. Jerry reading. So let's say it's 45 degrees over here. So 45 degrees would be our Z accumulated times 128 is 5760. 5760 divided by 90, because that's this guy, is 64. And 127 plus 64 equals See how I didn't add that out there? I was thinking ahead. So if we have at 45 degrees here, which means it's pointing in this direction, the equation spits back out 127 plus 64, so it's pointing at 45 degrees. And you can try that for different ones too. You'll see that it always lines up. Go ahead and watch the videos below of putting together the code to make this work so that the gyroscope can control the servo.